Hi guys, it's Jill. Ow! Woo! No biting! Ouch! Ouch! Don't film videos with horses, they bite you. They say, I'm bored, go do things. Sorry, I haven't been on lately. It's, um, I just... <coughs> A, I've been sick, and uh, B, I just haven't really been inspired enough to do a video and edit it for hours and stuff. Stuff on here. Shh, shh, shh. Since I'm getting more into doing Liberty Horsemanship with Bo, I figured that this was probably a good video to make. A lot of you have been asking me tips on how to bond better with your horse, and first of all, I want to clear up that I am in no way a Liberty trainer at all. I've been trained an eventer for eight years where everything is bits and spurs and blah blah blah. Don't get me wrong, I haven't like been abusing him or anything, but that was the only thing that I knew before. So like the only, like I didn't know that there was a whole nother world of communicating with your horse other than just using, you know, machinery to get them to do what you want. Yeah, so I'm slowly easing both of us into this world and it's really foreign to both of us and I can't really, I, like, Liberty's kind of one of those things that I think you just have to kind of figure out for yourself and your horse. It's so cool. I'm not gonna make a video on how to do Liberty because I, I don't know at all actually. I'm gonna give five tips today on how to better your bond with your horse. Tip number one being don't come out just to ride. Bo says, what? Not just riding. Bo, 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 Bo. <laughs> Since it is off season, I can, I don't have to be constantly riding all the time. And so when I come out here, sometimes I just come out to mess around like I did today, um, like I put a tarp down and played with him over stuff like that and just came out to have fun with him and mess around with him and let him be a horse. Like I didn't even have the halter on him but I, I had to ride up to go get a battery for my camera because it died. Just have, have some play days with them and don't, don't stress them out if they're not doing what you want them to do. Ow! Oh, he's like, take me to the barn. But like, I mean, don't make it stressful. If they won't go, if they won't follow you over a jump, then don't worry about it. If they won't go over the tarp, don't stress it. You know, I mean, don't create an enemy and just leave it hanging. But I mean, don't get frustrated and upset. And if you will get frustrated and upset, then don't do it. Tip number two goes hand in hand with that one. You might start with some simpler stuff, like um, when you come out to the barn, Instead of like, I mean, don't get me wrong, riding every day is great, but sometimes you just need some of those chill days, like when you want to give your horse and you a day off, instead of just sitting around at home and letting them sit out at the barn, just, <laughs> you are being so irritating. Just come out and sit with them and play with them and rub on them and find their favorite spots and Ooh, that's Bo's favorite spot. Scratch them and play with them and just make it pleasurable for both of you guys. Horses naturally groom each other, so if you've got the time, then come out and give them a really good grooming. And I'm not talking about like bathing and all that mess because I mean, who wants to bathe their horse every day? And that's not very good for their coats. I don't know how much bonding you would get out of making them wet. Stop, you're gonna run over my tripod. So just do lots of grooming and making them happy so where they enjoy spending time with you and it's not just about, oh, here's the slave driver today. She's just gonna hop on me and ride me. Honestly, who, who wants to hang out with that? The answer is none, none. And it's more fun for both of you if you, it's not the same thing every time you come out. You know, you know, and don't worry about getting stressed out and all. Um, Bo, leave the camera alone. Tip number three, teach your horse to do tricks. That's an exciting thing for both you and your horse. It's something new that they get to learn that they're not used to doing. If it were me, I would advise against using treats. After a while, they start to get greedy and kind of pushy and that's the opposite of what you want. You just want them to enjoy doing things for you and being with you. And Bo gets very treat aggressive. So he can't, he can't use treats to do tricks. So after we figure out how to do that, we'll work on that more. So tip number three is teach your horse how to do tricks. That's, that's fun times. Bo can do tricks, right? Can't you? Touch, 
Touch, touch, touch, touch. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, that's a good boy. Tip number four. My personal favorite is join up. This was the thing that got me really into doing horsemanship and stuff. And I've watched a lot of videos on it and some people are against it, some people are with it. A lot say, why would you want to send the horse away from you? But like, I mean, at the same time, I understand the logic behind it of trying to be the lead mare and getting the horse to respect you and then but at the same time, I don't know that I want a respect relationship. I want a partnership where we're both in it together. I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Um, it really gets Bo listening to me and focusing on um, what I'm saying and not so distracted on grass. And then we can really start working together. So I see both sides of the argument, um, but I like it. So um, I'll put the link to the join up video in the caption. Aha, stop you. I did a video on that a while back on my phone. It's kind of crappy, so I apologize for that. But I have a camera. The fifth tip that I'm gonna advise, bonding with your horse. Drum roll, please. I would advise that you take some rescue remedy, which is this magical medicine-ness that <laughs> takes away all your anxiety. So when you come out here to the barn, you are just chill and relaxed and happy to be here. And it's not work, work, work. Because that mindset changes everything. If you come out to the barn and you expect your horse to do this, this, and this, it's not gonna happen. You're gonna get disappointed and frustrated. End of story. I mean, it's good to have expectations and goals, but like, at the same time, if you get disappointed every time something doesn't work out, then good luck with living. <laughs> because that's probably not how it's gonna go for you, which sucks a lot, but. Make sure that you have a positive mindset and it's not just about work, work, work with your horse. And because that's the biggest thing and when you're both calm and happy about working, then everything will go positively in the end, I think. Good vibes, right? Good vibes. Because every horse person knows, they sense those things. And if you're in a bad mood, they're gonna be crazy, right? Because they say, haha, we gotta make you even more angry, right? Cause it's funny. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and um, comment, comment other ideas. Comment how you bond with your horse and your favorite, maybe their favorite itchy spot. Cause Bose is right on his neck. He says, I love it so much when you scratch me there. It feels amazing. Mook. So comment your favorite thing to do with your horse and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and Thanks so much for watching. Check out my other videos because Bo's in a lot of them and I'm very, very cold. <laughs> I'm so cold. I'm freezing, I swear to God. It's so cold. <laughs> You're such a good boy. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> I'm really sick. Oh my God. Bo says goodbye.